Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Cody with Blood Money MMA Bets, and I'm back with another official bets video. This is for UFC Vegas 65, Lewis versus Spivak. Um, it's a decent card. I got five good bets on this card. Um, we're going to do a quick recap of UFC 281, and then we'll get right into uh, we'll get right into um, UFC Vegas 65 bets. UFC 281, I went 3-3 three and three on my bets for plus 1.45 units. I have three winning bets. I had Dustin Poirier plus 1.9 units. Tough fight, good fight. I'm um, glad he came through. Second winning bet, Juanato Macano plus two units. Easy bet. Third winning bet, Ryan Spann under 1.5 rounds plus three units. Another easy bet. Three losing bets. I took three dogs that were plus 1.70 plus one 175. None of them paid off. Frankie Edgar minus two units. Wellington Wellington Terman minus two units. Julio Arce minus 1.45 units. This brings my official bet record to 166 and 119 for plus 63.15 units. Like I said, I went three and three on that card for plus 1.45 units. That's two weeks in a row, uh, winning nine out of 10 weeks, um, winning in total. All right, first bet for this UFC 260 or UFC 65 card. I got Miles Johns. I got him at minus 140. I got 3.5 units to win 2.5 units, and he's the better fighter um, everywhere. Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, striking, he's more powerful. Um, he's faster. He's going to hit harder. He's got bigger, better leg kicks, and his cardio will hold up because Vince Morales doesn't push a, push a pace and put the pressure on. Second bet, I have Brady Heastan minus one point five or at one, minus one fifty. I have three units to win two units, and um, I'm taking Brady Heastan's uh, wrestling to dominate the one dimensional uh, boxer Fernie Garcia. Just not impressed with him anywhere, and I think that Brady gets the dominant decision. Third bet, only parlay of the card. I have Jack Delamata Delena parlayed with the Charles Johnson Zogalskis uh, over 2.5 rounds. Um, it's a durability parlay. Jack Della is going to show you that um, Danny Roberts ain't durable enough to fight him. And Charles Johnson and Zogalskis are both very durable um, flyweights, and there's not going to be a finish in that fight. Charles Johnson's never been finished, and Zogalskis has been finished one time in nine years. So I really like that. Fourth bet is the Waldo Acosta versus Chase Sherman over 1.5. Um, Chase Sherman's fought 13 times in the UFC. Nine of them fights have gone over 1.5 rounds. Uh, two of the four that didn't go over were against grapplers that got him to the ground, which Waldo Acosta is not going to do. Waldo Acosta um, is a boxer, but he's not like a one-punch knockout boxer. Uh, He's let four of his last six fights have gone over one and a half rounds, really gone over two and a half rounds. So I feel really good with this going over one and a half rounds as long as his leg isn't compromised from the Jared Vandera fight. And um, he doesn't get, get out of there due to leg kicks early in the fight. But other than that, I like this fight to start the third round, go over one and a half for sure. Fifth bet's going to be Ricky Turkio. So got him at minus 150. I have three units to win two units on him. And um, I just think he's going to be better than Natividad. Natividad's not great anywhere. He's slow. He's not good anywhere. Um, he's not going to ever beat anybody in the UFC. I think Turkio's had an off night um, against the hobby. Fought a guy that cracked him a couple times early on, and then he just stayed away. But I think you were going to get the old Turkio's that um, is in a good fight. He's going to be bigger, taller, longer, faster. Way more variety of striking. I think he can win the um, scrambles and grappling exchanges too. So I'm, I'm not really worried about that anywhere. So them are my five bets. Um, I kind of went through this quick. I've been feeling kind of sick. I haven't felt all that great. Um, yeah, so I, I got this, uh, this little video out real quick. But them are my five bets, man. Um, everybody uh, check us out for the Fight Companion on um, Saturday. We're going to be doing that on Patrick's uh, Addicted to Combat channel at 1 p.m. on Saturday. And um, that's about it. Everybody else have a good week off. I'll probably do a couple live shows during the week next week. We'll see what's up. Um, but, yeah, man, everybody else, other than that, have a good Thanksgiving. And uh, good luck to everybody this weekend, man. See you guys.